Hey, this is Joe Gilder from HomestudioCorner.com. Got another Studio One video for you. How do we go about automating tempo in Studio One? It's not something I do a ton, but it's good to know how to do that. Well, the first step is, you know, we talked about a marker track. Well, up here next to the little marker track selector is this guy, which is the tempo track. So as you may have remembered in the last video, we set the tempo for this song at 93 BPM. And here we can change the tempo as well. It changes in both places, no big deal. The problem, well not the problem, the thing you may want to do sometimes is automate the tempo. So maybe you want the verse and the chorus to be different tempos. I don't tend to run into that very much with the style of music I work on, but maybe you run into that. And that's totally legit and something you want to be able to do so the click track and everything else follows it. The easiest way to do that is to come in here and find the spot where you want it to change. Let's say we want it to change at chorus. Let's move this chorus right on a downbeat there. We want the chorus to go up by 5 BPM. Come over here to Tempo Track and click the plus sign for Insert Tempo Change. Then we just drag this up to wherever we want. That's a little much. Let's make it more fine-tuned. Let's say we want it to be 99 BPM. And so now the tempo will automatically change from 95 BPM for the start of the song to 99 BPM at this section. Let's see if we can hear it. It's subtle, but maybe that makes a big difference in your song. I've never done that in an actual song, but where it does come in handy is over here. When I was getting ready to record an album, I needed to record all the scratch tracks for that particular album. And for me, scratch tracks just consist of piano or guitar and vocal played along to a click track that we will then play along to as a band when the tracking session comes. So it's a way I kind of use to figure out the tempos for the song and also to get arrangements and stuff kind of in place and it gives my artists and musician friends something to practice along too. And then we can import these into a session mapped to the same tempo, and we can all play together. So as you can see, every song is labeled with a marker. The song's called Story, This Is My Old Friend, This Is Away. And then the tempo of the song changes with each one. So I've got them set just at, once I recorded one, I moved over to the next downbeat a few bars over, changed the tempo, and recorded that song. So they're all in the same session, which saves me from having to open and close. There were 16 songs here we were considering for the album. That's a lot of songs to have, uh, different sessions to have to open and close. So this way, I just have a track for vocals, track for the MIDI piano I was using, acoustic, electric, actual keyboard input, and we can just go back and forth and bounce between them and quickly listen between them and change tempos and all that stuff right here in this session. You can even change time signatures as well, which we'll get into in another video, but that's, um, that's what I want to show you today. Multiple different tempos in a single session. Who'd have thought? Mm -hmm.